Today we are heading out to Josh's shop. I just went to the bank, grabbed out some cash. I have my all-wheel drive trans sitting at Josh's shop that I've yet to pay for. It's been sitting there before I even bought the Honda because I knew I was wanting to buy one. So today we're officially paying for it and picking it up. Today we are starting to collect all the pieces needed for the all-wheel drive swap. There is a kit locally in town as well that I might go and pick up. It is a pretty good deal and it is a very good all-wheel drive kit that Josh highly recommends. There's lots of other goodies that I'm needing to order for the Honda as well tonight. Mounts, um, stuff like that because I need all new mounts for the all-wheel drive as it is front-wheel drive right now. And I'm also going to be ordering K24 because I want this car to have a K24 in it. I have a K20 in it right now. We just got to Josh's shop. I am waiting for Josh to come back. He's currently at lunch. And I might have some exciting news regarding the STI. Um, we might get some videos of the STI build sooner than expected. So the rods have finally come for the STI. That's the thing I've been waiting on this whole time. I've had the block here in Spokane. I was initially trying to race where Chase, Josh, and I are going racing on the 9th at uh, Renegade Speedway. I wanted the STI to make it, but my STI, I'm getting some stuff done to it. It won't be done for two to three weeks. So I'm gonna try to have the STI done. Uh, the last track event is on the 26th at Renegade. So hopefully we can get my STI done in time for that, but my rods are here. I have everything I'm waiting on for the STI, just a matter of time until they can finish my block. It is now the next day. I got the motor and trans back to the shop. Today I'm going to be taking this apart a little bit and trying to clean this to try to give it a brand new look to it and clean up those parts as well. I want all the parts to be very clean because I want a very clean engine bay. So we're gonna take this apart, pressure wash it, degrease it. I'm gonna try using this little wire brush, see how well that clears it up. If it doesn't look as good as I want it to after I use the wire brush, I'm gonna go ahead and repaint the trans as well. I'm also going to be surprising Bo a little bit as well. He hates how crusty his whole engine looks. So I'm going to be going through his whole motor and using the wire brush as well just to clean up all these parts. The block, all these brackets, and some other miscellaneous parts too to try to give us a, a brand new feel to it. I think he'll be really happy with that. Also, we have a lot of parts for Bose Evo sitting here. All the parts have finally came in. Um, when we got the last part, we ended up ordering more parts as well, so we waited to get those parts as well. So Bo is gone this week uh, for work, so this coming weekend we should be starting to get back to work. We have the motor on the stand now, as you can see. We still need to pull off the timing and redo the timing and put the new ATI fluid dampener on here, retime the motor, and then we're good to go ahead and put the car back together. There's some little goodies here, a little sneak peek. Uh, for what is to come in future videos with this Evo build as well. I don't know how in depth I'm gonna get with taking things apart to clean it, but I'm going to probably just do whatever I can access easier. I do have a spare intake manifold. I have a lot of spare Evos because I used to own a couple. So I might go ahead and try to clean this one, uh, make that look brand new, and then just pull this apart and put all the pieces back on. I feel like that's gonna be quite a bit easier than trying to work around everything. If I'm taking everything off the intake manifold anyway, might as well just put the new one on. So I already tried using the wire brush on just one part of the trans without uh, washing or anything, and that looks a million times better. You can see the comparison just of a quick 10 second wire brush on there. So I might actually just not pressure wash right now and wire brush the whole trans and see how it looks from there.
Well, it is bending the table a lot more than I thought it would. It's hard to see on camera. So I don't think I want to put the trans on the table. I wasn't thinking how heavy it was. So probably gonna have to end up putting it back on the ground to clean it. I was able to get it on top of my toolbox. So this is a perfect spot to be able to start cleaning this. I also went to the store, bought a GoPro and a head mount. So when I'm working on stuff, you guys can see a point of view action. Let me know what you guys think of these shots. If you guys wanna see more of it or you guys just wanna see some time lapses on the camera. So far, it's coming out pretty good. I went ahead and removed all the shifter linkage and the mount so I can access these spots easier. This spot, there wasn't anything in the way, but it was too hard to try to get all of the stuff with all the stuff in the way. So I went ahead and removed all of that. It's all placed over there. Let's see how this looks. Apparently, apparently it is still full of fluid and as I was putting it on my creeper, it got all over me, so that's fun. As I'm editing the video right now, when I was trying to use the GoPro on the head to get you guys some POV of working on the trans using the wire brush, I did not angle the GoPro enough, so there was very few clips where you can actually see my hand, which sucks because that made up a lot of the video. So there's, I tried to incorporate as much as I could into the video. Um, but it was a huge fail on my part and I of course didn't set up my camera on a tripod to get a time lapse I thought the GoPro would have been good enough But I did not do that successfully. So I'll make sure tomorrow um, When I work on Bose motor that I actually get the GoPro set up properly so you can actually see my hand movements So big downside. I'm really let down while I'm editing this video here for you guys so if you guys are wondering why there isn't much footage of that, that is why. So I just finished pressure washing and degreasing the transmission and it came out super good. I mean, it's not perfect by any means, but compared to what it looked like before, it is days better. I don't know if I'm quite content with how it looks right now. I might end up painting it before I put it into the car. But I'll probably wait on that because I'm going to be redoing, uh, powder coating a lot of stuff and repainting a lot of stuff before it goes in the car. But for what it is right now, it looks so much better than what it did before. It's kind of crazy how crusty it was. I think this transmission only has 30,000 miles on it, 30 to 36,000 miles on it. It was pretty damn crusty, but with a little bit of time, it looks significantly better. So I'm very happy. With how that came out, I was going to, uh, in this video, also work on Bose motor and clean some stuff up on here. But after doing all of that, I'm covered in oil and grease right now, so I'm not that comfortable. I kind of want to hop in the shower. I still have to do these parts of the transmission because these are still crusty. I haven't even touched these yet. And then I'll be assembling the transmission back um as well so i'll probably make a separate video of taking this apart and making it look like a brand new motor and surprising Bo. like i mentioned earlier he's gone this week so that's why we're not getting any videos for you guys of the evo he wants to learn himself 
With the Evo, if it was up to me, I would have this running by the time he gets back and surprise him. But he wants to learn, so I mean, I get it. It was the same way with me, with my STI. But I think in the next video, I'm gonna make a full video of taking this apart and making this look brand new again. I think he'll be very happy with that. We wanted to do that originally, but he didn't really want to put the time into it because it's very time consuming using a wire brush wheel. If you guys have any better uh, options to clean up a motor, let me know because it takes a while using the wire brush. I think that's going to be it for today's video. Um, the next video I'll be posting will be going through the Honda and showing you guys what happened. And one of the failures I had with that car, because uh, that turbo is from my STI that I put on a Honda just to have some fun in the meantime. So that's all I'll leave you guys with, with what is wrong with the Honda. So, but I will say I'm needing to order a brand new turbo for the STI, which is kind of a bummer. The turbo failure wasn't my fault. The turbo came like this. So it is unfortunate I have to spend a good amount of money for a new turbo on here, but that only means I can do a bigger turbo. Precision just released a new turbo that Josh and I are both gonna order. So this car should make even more power than what I was wanting. I'm wanting 1200 out of this STI now. So we'll see. I'll leave you guys with that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one.